Alright YouTube, what's up? This is Ryu Station here and on this edition of Ammo Reactions, we're going to go ahead and react to uh, the very uh, first episode of this series called Fate Grand Order Zeta Magi in Senshu Babylonia, also known as Absolute Demonic Front Babylonia. Uh, I see it's listed as 21 episodes, which is kind of weird, but I think it's because they'd be taking breaks here and there, or maybe there's some, you know, uh, you know, complications with the productions or whatnot. It's by, I see that it's by Cloverworks, uh, or, or, yeah, so, and unfortunately, though, that was the one that also did Darling in the France, which I did enjoy, but I, uh, a lot, except for that, la that last, you know, the last, um, what, nine, ep like, what, six episodes, I mean, five, six episodes, those were just weird, but, um, th that was, uh, that was a really, that, I don't think I, people should be quick, like, people are already quick to judge. But then again, you'd have to think about how, how Fate Apocrya kind of turned out. Like, Fate Apocrya was fun, when you, like, in terms of, like, what the action provides. But the story and the characters were all over the place. Now, this is a based off a of Gashi game, as well. And you know, like, my prior uh, reaction to Stars or Lane, and I got mixed, uh, you know, um... I had really mixed thoughts about it. Like I didn't think the CGI choreography. I thought it was pretty jarring. This I, I don't think I should have an issue with. But at the same time, I still need to worry about the story quality and the characters involved. And it feels like it could be a clusterfuck, depending on, or it could be magnificently done, depending on what the directors go with here. Because it's not easy to adapt such game adaptation. It's not as easy easy to adapt game adaptations. Like let's be fair here. So. I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this up. Uh, I think I had it somewhere here. Yeah, I had it. Yeah, I had it here. Hold on a sec. Alrighty. Um. Oh yeah, I have to. I have to fucking remove this from the. I I, I have to fuck. I have to fucking remove the, the damn uh, stuff here. Um. Alright. Like I like this is what I have to kind of go through when you when um. Trying to move, use torrent and all, but I mean, I, I don't think it's a that big, huge, big, big of a setback. So I don't think, so I don't think it should be anything particularly uh, inconvenient. So <clears throat> let's get this thing started. Alrighty. Um, I know we're gonna be seeing. Uh, so honestly, we're gonna see uh, caster. You know, my boy, my boy Gilgamesh is a caster, which is actually kind of nice because. What I what I what I often keep forgetting is that he was an ar his original form is an archer, even though he doesn't really look like an archer. I mean, he's just kind of like this all he's like jack of all trades guy because he has a treasure, but he's really an archer class. Funny enough, so have, seeing him as a caster is like, is he going to be as powerful? I don't think so. Um, I do know only like a few of them here. Like I know. Uh, like for example, I know uh, that's uh, like Gilgamesh's uh, fr you know, friend. Uh, I I, f I forgot who it is Enkidu, who is I don't think he's a it, like Enkidu is neither male nor female. I think. What's I know, Matthew or recognize Matthew from a lot of the little favorite Grand Order specials. There is a uh, what was that Ishtar who actually takes on. Who actually uses Reen's body as a vessel, so it's kind of an alternate sort of timeline here. I don't know about the. I don't know about the, uh, those two. I I know these. I mean, actually, I know these four, but I don't know who in but like what their names in particular. I mean, unless if I want to just go ahead and check right now. So the ones involved, like okay, there's Merlin. Okay, so that white, so that white fluffy guy is like Merlin. Of course, we know we got the Ritsuka one. I, I do know a little bit of Fate Grand Order, not that much. Like, only a little bit on the surface. Like, don't, like I don't know the deeper shit. Uh, we got Fo, apparently, who is a little familiar, I think. Uh, there was uh, Anna, who I don't even know. Uh, the, apparently, the, apparently, she has to play to play some too. So, and that, this one, Leonardo da Vinci. That's one way to look at Leonardo da Vinci. No, that's a sexy Leonardo da Vinci, I'm not gonna lie here. Alright, so there's Romani Archiman who was kinda showed up in the zero the episode zero one. 
So yeah, um, quite a bit to kind of, quite a bit of characters is kind of from the get go. So I'm thankfully, like this was provided early, a bit earlier to get a little bit of a glimpse on there. Unlike the Azure Lane page that I was exposed to, that's why I was kind of lost there. Uh, so it helps, it it helps. But uh, yeah, uh, so without further ado, uh, I don't know what's going on here. Hold on a second, Let me, uh, open this up back up. Like Windows was kind of just messing with me for a sec. Okay, so I really do hope the copyrights don't come on this one. It's, seriously, it, they they gotta fuck off here. Um, all right. So this is gonna be episode one, guys. This is gonna be. Oh wait a minute. I I want to make sure everything's put. No, okay. All right. Everything is everything is in order. Uh, sorry for that little check over there to begin with. So. Uh, starting in the my account. Three, two, one, go. All right. Funimation, why? I swear, this is this gonna cover up because of that. This is the first age when humans and the man and the gods wage wars. Or... Eesh. The detail on the waters is like so, is like so crisp that it actually kind of hurt my ears for a sec. Oh, yep. Yogamesh actually hinted about that in Fate Zero, by the way. The, his friend, and this is the one here. And oofed. If I remember, Ekadu is, you know, she was not neither male nor female. She's a homocluse or something close to it. I don't I don't remember guys. Sorry about that. But apparently Yogamesh has was, has was really attached to her. I mean and it makes sense with the original legend too. Sort of. Alright, look at my my king action my king out here like on this fucking throne, like Like yeah, I got everything, but at what cost? Oh, this should be cool. Humanity's final master, huh? If that is the case, wouldn't Fate Grand Order be technically the a time like taking place in the ouch. A time like in this like in the same timeline but like where it's been hundreds of years and civilization has advanced to this? I don't know. I don't know. You got this high spec stuff. You got these, like, you know, pseudo servants running around in here now. So it looks like we're going to be running with the male uh, Ritsuga. Ritsuga. I, I hope I pronounced that right. If I've been pronouncing that in the shittiest way, I do apologize. Clover Clovervix is literally A1's uh, B team, so and they have always do pretty pretty solid uh, animation. Not exactly good when it comes to story writing though. Well I'm not me I, Buddy Go Senpai is not is not one of those examples though. Because Buddy Go Senpai was really was actually really good. Okay, so it's not it's not a future. I okay. 
Oh, you got John. We got Nero. We got um, Mordred. <laughs> oh, there was uh, that that one guy, Karna. Karna. That was Karna. Yeah. From from the uh, Fate Apple. The end of the age of the gods, huh? Yeah, that's yeah, that is Gilgamesh's whole. That's Gilga, Gilgamesh's crib right there. So we're just so we're going on a trip to visit Gilgamesh at his fucking as as in his clubhouse or something. Leonardo da Vinci. Back when the Middle East was actually fertile. Or that specific part of the middle of the Middle East was actually fertile. So we're at, I think we're at a point where you're in the game, you've already kind of progressed it kind of much through some quests, and now you're into some, some other sort of mission, I guess. I'm going to be really interested in how this may or may not be parallel to actual myths from Mesopotamia. Because I'm not familiar with how the fake grand order does does their does their uh, reference like how parallel it is like how they conduct it like I'm pretty sure it goes differently but how differently besides look besides you know the whole servant thing and fake magic and stuff oh little mess little mess you wants a request. Try not to worry too much about these big old terms. <laughs> like, you might, might as well just order a textbook for that one. But they're just literally being the Sekai. Sort of. It's really just time traveling, but... Oh, well, most of the time, like all these, the fate stuff is. Oh. Yes, we know your fault. <laughs> nice. Oh yeah, that's a number five. So. Oh. That's a way to soften the landing, you know. Huh? No, we were fine, although in an awkward position. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm not in a really well good time. So they were so there was something that kind of rejected their transformation and just kind of teleported just outside or kind of a little bit away from it. Let 
Makes sense. Yeah, the little command spells here. Uh oh. Uh, we got company. Oh no, CG Lions! Okay, and they're no longer CG. Cool. Just being able to alternate between those that well. Let's hope this ain't as jank as ours a lame one. Alright, let's get in, Matthew. Oh. Not bad. Not bad at all. Actually pretty good. <laughs> yeah. So oh Jesus Christ. Well, okay. Yeah, she become she is as she's as strong. She's a almost she's about as strong as a, as a normal servant. But in that so I shouldn't be surprised. Them? Huh. Oh, we got a little quirky character in common. <clears throat> Why does it always have to be the main character? <laughs> Why does it always have to be the main Hey, it's Reen. Well, not really. <laughs> well, it's a little comedic humor right there. That's a little, nice little touch. And it's not like it's not stretched out like Kimetsu no Yaiba, even though it was funny. It just eh, to the point where it's just like exasperated. You'll be alright. You'll be alright. Although she's a little pissed. What? <laughs> it's not his fault. You're in. You're. He was within the trajectory of your landing, like miss, <laughs> or. Nope. Unfortunately, not. We. Yeah, no, I... Kalia, never heard of that. <laughs> I'm just... I just want to know how the hell is she... <laughs> or she dares to ask it. Well, she is Istar, though. Okay, so I did not pronounce it right. Wrong. <sighs> so there's a little version of E. Did Evie start all of this little thing, or is it something original like back in the old Final Fantasy or something? I I guess the Final Fantasy thing. Um, that's some, um, I guess suggest you got some suggestive armor. 
she literally has re she literally has Reen's personality like oh, yeah. legit. Um. Okay. Oh, okay. Let's see what you can do. Okay. Okay. All right. Nice screenshot there. <laughs> There's there's more though. And she's just So they were able to get through, but how? What ha What happened? Is why was it cut off in the first place? The they communication. Hmm. I'm guessing someone was trying to interfere and kill them with the lions. I guess. Like I wouldn't be surprised if someone was controlling these things. Like someone may have been expecting a mirror. I don't know. I'm thinking. Too, maybe I'm think overthinking this. And we got a new character. Ooh. Interesting, their blood is purple. Trap, but not a trap. Because I do not believe for a second that. Ooh. Those are the same chains that, uh, that Yogamesh used in used in the used in the normal uh Fate Day uh, time Fate Day timelines. And for a reason. Huh? Okay. Hmm. Not familiar. Apparently, they're not familiar with handshakes back then. What? Just casual handshakes.
So uh, go, going back to Alter History and everything, sounds like a Yili Aster sort of project. Okay. I feel like you met one of them already, unless if I'm mistaken. They've lended an aid, but they've never officially allied. Oh, okay. 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 So the gods have already ravaged this ravaged this place. So you're saying it's too late to save it? That's a nice view from here, I'm not gonna lie. That, I mean, I would love to go take a view from some prior game like this one day. Oh. Title drop! <laughs> so, yeah, it's a title drop. Don't at me. Um. I like it so far. I, I actually like it so far. I don't really have anything particularly partic in particular to nitpick besides the fact that there is CG. But it's not like the, it's not at least the choreography with that. I mean, because they still had a lot of, of 2D stuff. Um. I I feel like this I feel like the stuff like when you do the action and all, there's a purpose. There's a sense of like it might look like I don't the people may have already been used to this already, but to some that may not be used to this, we have to realize that sometimes and artwork are intentionally sloppy during the action scenes because you want to depict how fast they're moving and all. I mean, if you know what I'm saying. So I uh, so yeah that's I mean I I do not I so far in terms of choreography core the two D choreography I do not see a problem. Yes, the CG does kind of stand out, but it's not something I feel like is going to be a particularly big problem at all. It's not trying to dump us with too much. It, I don't feel I, I I really don't feel like I've been dumped with too much uh, info yet. Just hints of what's to come. Uh, what's to come? Oh, uh, so we got Merlin and Anna. Oh, oh wait, is this the is this the voice? Is that Dragon's voice? Humanity's final master. Yeah. All right. All right. I I like what I see. I like what I see. Even though I'm not as familiar with Grand Order as most people, I only know the stuff on the surface. I mean, I can't. I don't. I obviously don't know enough 
to really call myself an expert with this part. I only know a few names here and there because I doubt I dabble do stuff. Like I see Versus Battle Week, I see some stuff from Fake Grand, from the Fake Grand Order, and just know some names. But that'd be it. That's about it. I didn't do a whole lot of browsing. I just did enough. I I I think I did cut enough to where I I'm fam I'm familiar with some stuff here and there. But at the same time, I still want to have some blindness to it. Like I don't want to know too much. Because the, the, here's the thing with the Arzur Lane one, that's kind of an unfortunate thing to where you need to know stuff beforehand, like a lot of stuff beforehand, and uh, that and uh, and unfortunately that uh, did not work uh, work out with Arzur Lane. Uh, for Faith Grand Order though, I think be as as long as you know some, as long as you know something from the original Faith, some stuff from the original Fate Stay. Which is not really a game, which is which is where you don't really, uh, you know, need to like because it's part of a bigger uh, sort of uh, fra franchise, right? I think the Fake Grand Order kind of does the is kind of gets off a lot better, in my opinion. It does. I I don't feel like I'm being smashed with characters left to right, like Red Arzer Lane. I also don't feel like there's um there's also the jank the you know the action all. I also don't feel like I'm being rushed through the whole introduc introductions. I mean, it, I mean, we're still we. I don't. I'm pretty sure we only like uh, scra like scratch the surf here. Now, I will say that it does feel a little bit weird that they're gonna introduce Ekadu of all people and Ishtar of people of all people that early. Well, actually, is well, Ishtar. I like the fact she is. I mean. She main she's she's green, but she's also not green. Like, well, like, wait, we, cause uh, I mean, well, green is green would technically, well, green here would technically be uh, would technically be the uh, reincarnation of his of his star, I guess. I mean, unless if I got that wrong. Um, but uh, if you if you're going to summon her, I mean, like as a though certain like she use she usually uses uh. I like there are times where I think I've heard like what I've mentioned like she uses Reen as a vessel, and uh, she retain she has that sort of personality that's similar to Reen, so I get some joy out of that. Um, I can't wait to see Gilgam. I can't wait to see my boy Gilgamesh though. I I really do. Um, I am interested in how, more in the relationship between him and Ekadu. The uh, who I am assuming is neither female nor male, because you know we saw the flashback and she's some he's some, he or she bleh, some like a, a, a homoclutus, I think, or at least something similar to that. We also get a little bit of a some a little bit of a, a little look into what's gonna come what uh, regarding the cold conflict that's uh, befallen um, befallen the this uh, state. This little, this little time. So, the singularities are the works of some some guy called the Mage King, who was trying to alter history and basically do and basically fuck over humanity for the most part. I mean that I mean that if that's a simpler way to put it, make uh, that kind of makes sense. Um, it so and then like so he, bleh. so they uh, by this point. If you're following the Fate uh, Grand Order, you know, sort of, uh, you know, game timeline, I guess. This is the seventh one, and it's to the oldest city, like, apparently during the time when they're, like, when the go when the gods were still, were kind of still around in the human world, instead of just needing to be summoned or something. Well, like, they were actually at least physically there, for the most part. Um... <sighs> I, I'm in, like I've, I've said during the reaction. I'm interested to see how parallel or not, or like, or, or at least how similar. Like, how will this compare to the real life uh, versions of the Mesopotamian myth? Myth, if or are they going to pertain it to it to it enough or not? I'm like the the whole thing with the three goddesses, like wreaking havoc on that on that place already. And um, I am just wondering who interfered with the communications at the time. Like that's something I feel like it was a setup. Um, I was initially I did initially thought that the de demonic beasts were 
it kind of just sent appeared in sudden would appear to you know nab at any any invaders but for like they were just there they, they were just kind of summoned there but they were kind of around for the most part already so that's kind of disproving my theory for for the time being my assumptions for the time being uh i'm i i'm like i'm really uh i i'm trying not to get my expectations up too much but at the same time i can see that I, this this uh show can be really be good uh if it takes the right if the writing uh, turns out well i don't want what i would not like is stuff to feel you know tedious dragged out it starts to get uh dull dull here and there or it starts to get you know a bit uh annoying uh that i mean but thankfully it's not showing like this is not this is ain't showing stuff people so if you're somebody who likes fucking who likes just fucking dragon ball say 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 uh or the or like all the the stuff that the like action for kids you're not in you're not going you're not in the right place my guys you are not in the right place but i i like how it is uh matthew is cute uh i'm just gonna leave it at that but uh one of my guys one of my uh pals in takusaga rizzo said he like oh i think they all said they they're not particularly a fan of Masu, like yes, her design is pretty cool, but or I think I don't know if it's them. I think it's someone else. Like saying Masu doesn't have much of a character, and I can get it, but I think that was intentional. Uh, when you think about it, uh, it because I mean the way she she is kind of been you know brought up. You gotta consider that put into the equation and and all that sort. I mean, but I mean, at least she's kind of like the eye catch here. I, I what I'm more interested in, though is like the the story behind this uh, Babylon, the Babylonia, you know, Mesopotamia stuff. Like I, I'm interested to see how the story plays out here and how the characters get involved and how our like our main Isekai cat. Well, Isekai is kind of a broad, a little bit of a silly term to put it, but just kind of like our our time travelers here just trying to. Just like how they're gonna get involved, is this is gonna be nice? It, I, it, I just, I don't think we're gonna get bored. But I mean, I hope it doesn't bore me like Lord El Meloy did, or like, uh, I hope it doesn't like have a really silly look, silly looking uh, story writing, and you know, some, some rather, uh, some, uh, some like a really bad scripts. There were really some bad scripts with the unlimited blade works uh, part. So I hope they don't go that route. But yeah, um, I don't think there's much to say here. I don't think I'm flooded with anything in particular, thankfully. Uh, there is a difference between like how I would approach this, a, a, show, a show like this and then a show like uh, what I did when I first watched Sinful Gear. Well, Sinful Gear didn't clusterfuck it either. It just kind of presented it like one step at a kind of one step at a time, but it did keep but it but but it kept like the sense of conflict and you know the exposition. Well, it's a totally different uh, it's a totally different entity though. So I won't go into that. Uh, why do I keep thinking of Sinful Gear, man? It, it, I I already missed that show. But I'll, although I do hope there was a, a another installment of that, even if it's no longer a TV show. I mean, I I hope. I mean, I have genuine hopes that a franchise blooms beyond TV shows now. But going off topic here. I'm interested to see what it is. If anything, I, I, at least I want to see Gilgamesh. At least I want to see uh, Ishtar or Slash Reen. I want to see like this new Ek Hindu guy and how he's involved, like Mer and also Merlin. And I think that's Anna that was he was next to. Uh, I might be mistaken. It could be just another someone else who was some other, some other cape girl, cape uh, person or something. I'm interested. I, I actually see good stuff coming from this. As long as they don't fuck up the scripts. As long as they it keeps as long as it keeps the as long as it doesn't feel like stuff got a bit too uh you know, a bit too uh pretentious or a bit too uh tedious or stretched out unnecessarily. Then then this would be in the makings of I I won't say it'd be bad as good as Fate Zero. Like or the have or the heavens field or some of the heaven field videos, 
mm. I mean films. But I do think it's gonna be I do think it's gonna be a good uh fate installment, depending on where they go. Uh so yeah, that's all I really need to say. I mean I, I really like it so far. I am gonna continue with it obviously, hopefully to the end. Uh uh this uh is I hope I'm gonna have fun with this one. So on that note, guys, uh, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you want to subscri subscribe, sub, I mean, the support will really help. If you want to get new notifications and updates, new upload content, new upload content on my channel, just hit the bell icon below. I mean, if you want to, if you want to share your thoughts and impressions on this first episode, just hit, just you just comment down below. I'll try to respond whenever I can. And if you're interested, uh, check check out the link in the description of this video for links to my other to the other social media platforms I'm on, including Twitter, my Discord server, my Patreon page. You can also check out the other AniTuber channels that I support. But that will do it for this edition of Amor Reactions. So until then guys, and I don't know why I'm watching this part. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I was just I was just uh, like I was just kinda, you know, just trying to explain explain stuff here. So See you next time.